when the Buddha gave his first sermon, he was talking about something that's not only particular to Indian culture or his time and place. It's something universal. People are suffering. They're looking for happiness, and sometimes they go for sensual pleasures, and then they realize that sensual pleasures don't bring real happiness. And so they go running to self-denial, thinking that somehow they can make themselves pure by not having any pleasures at all. And as you pointed out, neither approach works. So the question is, is it halfway between this middle path that he teaches? Is it halfway between? No, it's something that lies off the, off the continuum. In other words, he pointed out that you can learn how to use pleasure and you can learn how to use pain to come to an understanding of how the mind is creating unnecessary suffering for itself. The pleasure you use, of course, is not sensual pleasure, it's the pleasure of concentration. We learn how to get the mind in a state where it's at ease and yet it's not being set on fire by its sensual desires. A sense of well-being that comes from just staying centered right here inside. That's part of the pleasure of the path. Of course, there's other pleasures as well. There's the pleasure of being generous, there's the pleasure of being virtuous. But the one that really goes to the heart is the pleasure that comes from the mind when it's really still. And then when the mind is really still that way, then you can start looking at the problem of pain. There's physical pain, which is not really the problem. The real problem is mental pain. You want to see how the mind creates mental pain. And a good way to see that, though, is to look at physical pain and then watch the mind's reactions. And that way you begin to see, okay, there's a lot of unnecessary movement around here. And so you learn how to make the mind drop whatever it is that's contributing to the mental pain, and bit by bit by bit. And you finally come across something really important. It's almost like a treasure hunt. It's not that the Buddha wants you to clone right view and say, okay, once you've cloned all these views, okay, that's it, that's all you have to do. You use right views as a tool. And the right view is what looks for the, the cause of stress. And understands you've got to develop the path, the good qualities of mind that enable you to abandon the cause of stress. And when you do that, then you realize the truth is cessation. It is possible to find an end to suffering. So when we talk about the middle path that the Buddha taught, it's not middle in the sense that it lies between pleasure and pain, that you have kind of a little bit of pleasure or a little bit of pain, a kind of half-half. It's more that you get off the continuum of seeing pleasure or pain as an end in itself. Sensual pleasure is not the end. Denial is not the end. There's something that lies above both of those. And that's the path we're on. The path that uses pleasure and uses pain to come out to something even better.